Welcome to the preview F1 2021 career. Thank you EA for letting me capture this gameplay and sharing it with you guys before the game has even come out. Now let's go ahead and get into it. We are currently in the game. As you can see, we have the single player career, Grand Prix, time trial mode, as well as the game options um, that is available to us at the moment in this content creator build. We're gonna go and do the single player career though, and we're gonna go and get started. Now we are going to be able to go and uh, use the recommended settings, or we can go and use custom settings. Now I went over all of the custom settings in the last video if you want to be able to go and check check it out make sure you go and watch that video we're gonna go and get through it really really quickly right now though now for all of these settings we're just gonna put it all on the max so that we can see what the impact is going to be like on the track as well as off the track so we have put the safety car on increased chances of coming out of the pits as well as full simulation damage where you can actually get damage on the barge boards as well as the rear wing i'll make a video about all of the details on the damage model very very soon so make sure you go and get subscribed if you have not yet but let's go ahead and go into the career right now now here we are in the garage which is actually actually almost the same as it was last time we're gonna go and get quickly through it almost everything is the same as the driver career except for the r and d which is completely different as you can see Right here on the left, you can see the vehicle comparison, which is somewhat the same. Uh, it's a little bit different in terms of the graphics. And then on the uh, bottom left, you can see the development potential, which is actually quite cool as well, because you can see the competition potential, as well as the um, uh, the current performance and all that good stuff. Now, we're gonna go ahead and check out the upgrades, because it's completely different for this one. As you can see, we already have uh, upgrades for some of them. The morale is actually back as well. We're gonna go and uh, go into the aerodynamic setup or uh, upgrade, and we can actually see and get through the uh, rear downforce as well as front downforce uh, like we could as well but the whole interface is a lot different now let's just ask which upgrade we want to be having let's just get a get a recommended upgrade and let's go and do that one it's going to be the cable assembly so you know what let's go and do that one then as you can see right here uh, you can see on the top right the scheduling and performance and if we put it in right now it'll be uh, coming in right before the start of the of the grand prix in bahrain so that's cool let's go and put it on 12 days and we'll get it you kind of see what is being put on the car i actually kind of like it it puts a little bit more uh more of a story behind it you know all right now let's go into the start of the race one all right here we are then in the team headquarters and it's somewhat the same we'll just look around real quick uh, but what you can see that is actually different is the HUD that you'll be able to see uh, right in front of us and a new guy talking right through me yo dude shut up uh, let's go ahead and uh, get into the first session right there and uh, let's go in and check it out the cool thing actually is that you can see right here the developments completed as well as the weather forecast it's a little bit different now it always shows the probability of rain as you can see right now three percent literally if it rains in Bahrain Bahrain I'm done. Now let's go into the first session, practice session. I'll show you the practice format and everything, all the new uh, features in the practice sessions. And then we're going to go into qualifying and the race. Hello, folks, and welcome to Paddock Pass, your pre-race edition for this, the inaugural round of the 2021 Formula One World Championship. And I've got to say, it feels great to be back. As is tradition, there is something of an air of a first day back at school on arrival here. But it's more than that. It's a breath of fresh air. It's an element of normality in what has at times felt to be something of an abnormal world. Now, we were supposed to have a raft of new regulations this season, but as we know, they've been held back. Which does give all of these teams the opportunity to have a second bite at the cherry. One final chance to show what they can do in this era of Formula One, but the responsibility for results, as always, falls on the drivers. But with the cars at their disposal this year being very similar to the cars they had at their disposal last year, succeed, and they, of course, will put it all on themselves as a display of their innate skills and abilities. But the knife cuts both ways, because if they fail to succeed, there's absolutely nowhere for them to hide. The other question, though, remains as to which of these teams has been able to do the incredible, the impossible perhaps with these regulations and pull something out of the hat over the winter that gives them the march on their rivals. As always, we can't wait for this season to begin. But for now, from us, that's your life. Now here we are then for the Formula 1 Gulf Air Bahrain Grand Prix. We're going to get into the practice right now and I'm going to show you all the new features that we got in the practice session. Okay, so right on arrival in the garage, you're going to get a little bit of a garage tutorial. We all know about that stuff. We're not going to go and get into that. Now, going into the new menu, you can see we have uh, three different 
um, practice programs at the moment. I don't think this is the the full thing, guys. So don't um, don't be sad if you don't see a lot of practice programs in here. I think we have a lot more coming, and I don't think that this is actually the the, um, the quick practice program that I actually talked upon in my last video. Um, however, we're going to get into it, and I'm going to go and show you right now. You will be able to get resource awards, which you normally could get already as well. If you get a green completion, you'll be able to go and get development boost as well. So in this instant, in the track acclimatization you'll be able to go and get engine power weight reduction as well as gearbox um, upgrades or not upgrades but boost in terms of cutting down the costs whenever you want a new upgrade so that's actually quite cool let's go ahead and do a track acclimatization and then after that we'll go into the qualifying session all right we're out onto the track right now now straight away you can feel that the handling has actually changed a lot uh, the tire model has actually been revamped and uh, you can feel it straight away the um, you, can, you can actually like lean on the car a lot more through the corners the cars though are a lot more twitchy and uh, that means that whenever you get onto a curb a little bit too hard you're going to lose the car very very easily for example this curb if you get onto the throttle way too quickly you lost it guys you lost it so we're gonna go and do a uh, track acclimatization program real quick here and then after that we'll see what the development boosts are going to be doing as well no no what's going on so the upgrades we were going to get are the weight reduction, drive a clean sector, we did. So we're going to get a weight reduction development boost. So let's check it out in the team headquarters, what we're going to be able to do with that. Now we're back into team headquarters. So let's go ahead and check it out because over here we can actually access the uh, R&D as well. We're going to go and check out Chessy. And as you can see, we have an upgrade. Uh, but I think actually that's the one we got no normally already. I think this is the one we were supposed to get already. Um, but there should be an upgrade that we could get. There we go. So this is the development boost, guys. As you can see right there, of course, we've only done one. We've only done one practice program. We only had one development boost. But it actually costs a little bit less, as you can see right there. So uh, that's quite cool. So that's something that you can go and uh, do with your practice programs. But there will be a quick practice program as well. It is not playable, I don't think, in this build yet. Straight into quality for the first round race of the F1 2021 game in the career mode with the Alpine team. Of course, a preview career, uh, but we are still going to get through everything here. Who's that then? Oh, that's me. That's me. <laughs> that's an ugly helmet, yo. What the hell? <laughs> Now, we are going to put on those uh, soft tires. We're going to see where we are. I think, I reckon we're going to go and put on the increased top speed. Uh, we already have a lot of wear, but I mean, it's a shorter career, right? I reckon the wear is going to be bad, though. Uh, over here, you can see the, uh, the weather. 3% rain, literally. Are we going to be in that 3%? I don't think so. Let's go out and do the track. Let's go and do a lap right here of the Bahrain Grand Prix for the quality session. Here we go then. As we now, oh my goodness, go and get a lap in right now. Uh, we're going to go and break right as the curb starts. We, we can actually break later than what we were able to do in F1 2020. Uh, 2020. Uh, you can actually break later. So, or well, if you're right on the limit, right? Now, Ricardo Kuni in P1. Are you serious? Are you serious? We're going to try and break right over here. It depends a little bit. You gotta be really, really good with the trail breaking, but I reckon you can make a big, big difference here in this game with the trail breaking, because I can feel already that there's so much more uh, time to gain just, just by getting the trail breaking right as we completely go over those curbs. You can see it really upsets the car, guys. It really, really, really does. Um, and even when you're not hitting the curb, it's a lot easier to go and, uh, and, and lose the car. A lot easier. Now, currently we're in P12. Of course, we do not have the quickest car on the grid. But I do want to be in that midfield here. However, if we're in that midfield, we're going to be able to go and then put on a good show here, put on a good battle and see how the AI actually behaves as well. So that's quite good. Now, as we get through the last sector right there, close it in on Hamilton. Well, not too bad. We're currently in P10. Currently in P10. We get into third gear, keep the car rolling over the curbs hard. And yeah, I don't know. It feels like it's just a little bit more comfortable getting through those corners. It feels like you can lean on those tires just that little bit more and you can brake later as well. However, that latest part through the corner, uh, you have to put a little bit more, uh, more brake stopping power on. Now, we get over the line and it's going to be a P7. Or did we get disqualified? It showed disqualified, did it? But no, it's a P7 for a very first race here um, in the career mode with Alpine. Hell yeah. 
And as you can see right now, the official graphics, you can see Hamilton right there on the left-hand side as well with fastest. It looks really, really cool, right? It looks really, really cool. Uh, now, you gotta go and click advance, and then you gotta go and see all the options. So we're gonna go and advance and go into the race. Now, the starting grid has completely changed as well, which I, I like this a lot, guys. It's really, really cool. Uh, it's the official starting grid sequence, as you can see right there, with Lewis Allen on pole and Valtteri Bottas in P2. We're gonna go all the way until we come up there uh, in P, I think it was P7, right? It was it was P7. And we have the McLaren's right there, and then it's us, bro, Tom, bro, yeah, in P7. All right, let's go on to the grid. And let's go and get started then. Now, like I said before, right, the setups are completely different. And as you can see as well, the default front brake bias as well as differential that you can see on the uh, the bottom right is actually a little bit different as well. Now, that is actually, that correlates to the changes in the handling model um, as the tire model has changed as well. So the way you go and uh, and hang the car through the corners has changed just a tiny, tiny bit. Yet it still feels kind of similar like F1 2020. So uh, that's actually a good thing. However, uh, it's been improved and it's made a little bit more like a simulator instead of a, an arcade game. Now, the thing is though, you can go and set all of the uh, settings on arcade or casual and then you'll have the exact same um, ease of use that you would have in uh, in previous games or even easier all right now let's go ahead and hold the clutch let's go ahead and get started the 40 boring grand prix as the lights go on and as they go out we go off as one here we go that 40 very first race on career we have done so far we already have what that's no 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 no, no. this guy's a rocket star gee but man already i mean i think it is the case but i think the changes between uh, or the differences between drivers, right, in terms of their starts, is insane. As we actually have Ricardo coming up on the right hand side right now, we're gonna go and squeeze him out. We're gonna go and see if we can go a little bit wider. Uh, oh man, I thought he hit us, but he did not. As we go and see if we can keep it side by side with Ricardo here, we're gonna try and bring a little bit later, go and hang around the outside, be side by side with him in the air as well. And he keeps the space, but he's still there. That's actually very, very good. As we got Vettel as well as Perez fighting as well now. We're gonna try and see if we can go and uh, get around the outside of Ricardo. Maybe up the inside for this one. But he's right there and he's going to close the gap. And we won't be able to go and have an attack right there. Now we still have around 14 laps to go. And we should have maybe a safety car coming up as well. But we're gonna go and have to go and use the ERS. As you can see, a new HUD as well, guys. A new HUD for the F1 2021 game. And um, it actually is a little bit different as it used to be all on the right hand side. I kind of didn't like it at the, at the start, right? When I first saw it, I was like, oh, what is this? But actually, it doesn't really interfere with your vision as much as I would have thought. And it actually is a little bit better in terms of uh, your vision that you have compared to what you had on F1 2020. Now, we already are using a lot of our uh, deploy mode. As you can see on the left-hand side of the HRD, you can see the deploy mode. The top bar is the... Um, the battery that you can use per lap and then the bottom one is your total ERS so you're gonna have it's actually quite easy to go and take a look at a little bit easier actually to go and understand compared to what no my goodness we completely lose the car and the tire no way over the curb we go all of a sudden wha-bam we lost it all right nothing has happened this was all up the plan oh man Fortunately, the marshals have managed to clear it up in time and there are no plans for a safety car right now. Oh, that's cool. That's new radios, guys. Into the pits we go. And uh, this is the very first pit stop we do in F1 2021. How is it going to go? Let's see. As we get into the pits right now, actually a little bit of a smoother animation. We put on the tires and it's going to be green, green, green. No, not even green. Look at that safety car, by the way. The driver positions, by the way, have changed from the top left to the top right. I'm not quite sure why they did this, and currently I actually uh, don't really enjoy it because I want to have the laps on the right-hand side as well as the position on the left-hand side. They might change it after some uh, user feedback, but who knows, guys? I don't know. Do you like having the positions on the right as well as the laps on the left? Let me know in the comments. All right, let's go through the last turn right now then. Let's see if we can do anything here. We can't, but it's going to be P-Loss. It does not matter matter though because we have gotten all the intel on the career mode and it was actually a lot of fun now there actually are some new uh, celebrations as well you have a victory radio if you win the race you'll be able to go and do a victory radio while you play uh, however that is not available in this build so we can't actually show that but it is going to be available in the full release that's gonna be a lot of fun and what you can do as well with f1 2021 i'm not quite sure if you were able to do it in f1 2020 you can go and save the full race replay now ladies and gentlemen this was the very first look at f1 2021 career mode if you enjoyed it make sure you go and smash the like button as well as subscribe because 
because we've got another video on F1 2021 coming, going over all of the features that we have missed so far, as well as the damage model and all of that good stuff. So make sure you go and get subscribed if you have not yet. Now, if you want to catch me live in one of my streams, also whenever F1 2021 is going to go live straight on release day, make sure you go and follow my Twitch stream. The link is in the description right now. But without further ado, my name is Tom. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out. Bye-bye. See you in the next one.